and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. Well, I finally managed to find another fragment for this propulsion cannon. I mean, I was having so much fun with the one with the, the actual prone suit that I thought I'd better get a, a one that I could carry around myself. So, yeah, these are, these are actually quite fun, I must admit. I mean, I, I actually got the, the second fragment from a, as a sea monkey nest. That was it. I was running the scanner back at base. I had a sneak suspicion I would get it from one of those nests, but yeah, sure enough, it uh, managed to pinpoint one there, and lo and behold, we now have a, ourselves a, an actual there uh, propulsion cannon. <laughs> now, one of the reasons I want one is because of this. I came back, I mean, like, I came through here, and uh, I noticed this here. I mean, this, incidentally, this is, this is actually over at the, the actual fire robotics uh, laboratory. We've got a teleporter gate or whatever it is over there, but it was while I was coming past, I noticed there's something, something's hiding behind there. So I want to see if I can, well, I want to clear the place out. See, you can have fun with this. Woohoo! So we can now get in here. Oh, wow, that's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of supplies that people are blocking out. Ooh. Salt tablets, nutrients. Oh, I'll definitely have that. And I'll have that. Oh, more batteries. You can never have too many batteries. Flares, I, I need them. I, I'd like, I really don't need flares. Well, I suppose we could go with the nutrient blocks, what the heck. Well, that's not a bad find, I must admit. But the flares, mm, no, no thanks. Didn't particularly need them. Ooh. Oh, oh, I was getting really excited. I, saw, I thought I saw something there. Right, so the plan today is we're going to head up north. Because I've still got no, in, no idea really as to where we go. I mean, we've done quite a bit. We've actually got two of the three blueprints, but I haven't been picking up anything since the accident we saw. Uh, you know, the one involving Sam. And I've no idea where to even start looking for this one. I mean, there's no, there's no more beacons have shown up. All the ones that we've got about our architect artifacts have gone. Or at least we've been there. Uh, the other two, well, I just kind of like stumbled upon them, really. So the plan is... Let's go back to the data bank. So if we go to... There, the facilities map. That's the plan. I want to head up north. Now, I think I actually headed up here by mistake one time. And I ran into a... Well, I ran into something nasty. I could have, it could have been in that direction or it could have been something over that. I couldn't. I can't quite remember which direction I was heading in. I think, I think it was actually over there, to be honest. But the plan is, we're going to head... Well, a crash fish egg has been discovered. Okay, fair enough. We're going to head north. And we're going to see if we can find a way into this outpost zero. Well, it, it is kind of north of that Delta station. I mean, you look at the map. It's like, yeah, I suppose it is slightly east. So, I mean, if you head up to the north and just kind of keep heading in an easterly direction, eventually you'll get here. So yeah, there's Delta Station, there's my base, there's the life pod, and there's the emergency supply cache. Now, I'm going to see if I can get out here without getting attacked, because there's all sorts of annoying creatures out here. But yeah, my, my sea truck took quite a bit of battering on the way here. But I think this is where we need to be at. So I'll just swim up here. Hopefully the weather's a bit better now. Oh! Ah, I got set on fire by a balloon plant. So there's a... There's a lamp, so it's that's a bit of a good sign. That we're in the right direction. Yeah, there's another one there. So it's got all the hallmarks of Altera. Ah, yeah. So this is the... This is the base that I remember, because this is where we started at. In the original storyline, we actually started here. There's an Altera base here. Correct. 
I also sense the energy of an important architect installation nearby. Yeah, I distinctly remember this because in the original, yeah, it, it was definitely in the original game, the first one that brought out, you actually started off here in this base. Yeah, and there's the snowman. <laughs> Blueprint synthesized. All of those I uh, scanned. But they had, I think there was, I'm trying to remember, there was some sort of like metal gate railing system around here. Yeah, and I remember heading up in that direction to find an artifact base, and that's where the whole storyline started in, in a cave over there, but outpost zero. Okay. I wonder if I mean I've I've already learned this this uh, the actual brawn suit. I mean, when the original story started off, you had all this sort of stuff, and you couldn't scan any of it anyway. None of it was scannable. There was all sorts of cool things here, but you just couldn't scan them. There's a there's a fragment for a builder there. What did Altera use this place for? Researchers here were trying to find me. Ooh. There was for a little head, uh, headlamp on. Might be a bit better. There's nothing from there. Yeah, it was really it was really weird because you literally woke up, your alarm went off. In the morning, I remember that you got woken up by, a, by an alarm, and there was just there was just nobody here. You were the only person here. It was really weird. And then, then that's when the storyline obviously started to to kick in. Ooh. Oh, potato! Ah. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. Yeah, I remember she, she was saying something about it being a cat. Hey, Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. Of course. Hi, Orin. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know. But you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta or anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on now? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so... That was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. <laughs> Oopsie. While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wake or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. If I can just present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. I don't want to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them, Volterran. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it wiser not to take the chance. Hmm. Yeah, data patterns. Hmm. Yeah, that's an interesting concept. Some people. Right. Oh, control room. Which we already knew anyway. 
Oh, there's an ion cube here. Woohoo! So that's this room here. Ah, good. It does connect through. Right, so ooh, one thing at a time. Okay. So whose is this PDA? Uh, nothing significant to the plot. And I need something for the plot. The plot is sadly lagging. Yeah, it's definitely... Another oh, one. Another music D uh, DVD. So that'll just take us back outside. So, ah, so that's why they called it zero. Oh, may as well have that. Oh, power cell. Could have, could have the power cell there. Oh, the power cell recharger, I should say. Oh, that, that'll lead to Sam's house. Um, Sam's um, quarters. That'll lead out. Well, uh, we get glitch there. Because what I remember there was a. Uh, yeah, you had all sorts of people that had uh, quarters. Oh, lantern fruit. Oh, that is definitely good. Right, I think that can take priority. Hello. I'm getting knocked over by Titan. Um. Oh, grrr. Nope, still not enough. I suppose I don't really need that. I used to really like growing these lantern fruit on Subnautica, I almost said it. It's definitely useful. Presumably, I might have been able to scan these. So what do you get out of those? 77 body heat, that's not bad, but it takes away water. Mm. That's a pity. Right. Hold on. Vanish? Oh, varnish. I thought it said vanish. <laughs> I, thought it said, I thought it was like somebody's like task list of uh, sabotage. So I just saw that and it said vanish prawn suits and thought, wait, got to make them disappear. Bit bizarre. No, this place was. The, the, yeah, it, it has changed. Cause I'm, this 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 bit I do remember. The greenhouse they had a big greenhouse area as well. So yeah, who knows what it could have scanned if you'd come in this direction. But at least we know Sam was stationed up here. So that's that's Lillian's uh, place. Oh, she was a doctor. Mm -hmm. so, she, yeah, so she was specifically assigned to the penguins, whereas Lillian's, Lillian's assigned to the xenobiology. I got the impression, actually, she was some, some sort of HR person, actually. Let's leave the exciting bit to last. Oh, I like that. That's a nice poster. So, lots of posters for my children. Man, that must suck being out here with your kids back somewhere else. Was this Sam's space? What was she doing all the way out here? It seems that many discoveries concerning your sister surprise you. Ah, I we'll really need that. I think we'll drop that. Put that, put that hat, headlamp back on. I hope that cat misses me too. We have to have the, cat, uh, the cat's picture. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. 
we shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in the crawl space near the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus. Be brave. Worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, what? When they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, I can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right. Now's my time. I've got this. All right. Sounds like maybe we might have missed something over at the Leviathan because she said she hid something there. Uh, an antibacterial, an antibacterial agent. So presumably something that would have destroyed the, the actual bacteria. I thought she was trying to blow the place up. I thought she was trying to like cause a cave-in to stop, um, stop anybody getting in, uh -huh. which seems kind of odd because they'll just well, dug the way back in again later on. But hmm. sounds like she was actually trying to destroy the bacteria. Ooh, a sea glide fragment. Now I'm wondering if it's if the cave's still are, uh, uh, in this gameplay. Because it was around, you had to go somewhere. It's one what I'll have to tell you what, this is a bit of a landing pad or something. I've better look around here in case anybody's left anything of interest around here. Uh, nothing particularly interesting. Let's head in that direction because, as I say, if it's anything like the original, there was actually a cave. Now you couldn't actually get into the cave. It actually locked you out. You actually heard a like an alien voice saying that it was uh, locked out, and whereas before Robin, I think, had been working there. Or Altera had been working there, I should say. And all of a sudden it was a case of nope, you can't get back in here, and you needed a you needed a data pad. I'm trying to remember what type it was, but you needed a, an alien data pad to get in. So it'd be one of these like manufacturing chubs to get back in again. You'd have to create one of these alien tablets and then there uh, presumably unlock the force force field that was Keeping you out. Oh, they have kept it here. Yeah, this is this. This looks the same. Because this is all cool. Because you came in here, and then it was a case of oh well, I can't get in there. So then she came out, and then that's when the like the meteor storm just suddenly hit. And then that's he went into survival. Which, to be honest, I, I like that. I think that was a better plot than this. This is a kind of a strange plot, I think. I mean, I get it, she's out looking for her sister, but all the same, it's, it's not the same, it's not like a survival thing, which is what the original Subnautica was, it was a survival game. Now, our land's very quiet, which I'm finding very odd. 
would have thought he'd have said something. Stuck on something there. Hmm. Okay, so where's this leading to? Because I never got to see the inside of this place. So this is a bit weird then. There's nothing here. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's still early access. Still an alpha. Yeah, I was expecting something. So at least we we'll know something. I mean, we're getting some information there from from Sam in a log saying she's she hid some antibacterium. Or a antibacterial agent. I thought it was a virus, to be honest, but never mind. Well, that is definitely weird. It looks the same as the original, very first playthrough, but it's not. It's not. You know that uh, you're not getting the same feedback, shall we say? Because yeah, we came running out of here, and then all of a sudden it was a case of, oh, I had to go up there. Yeah, because this place caved in due to the meteors coming down and an avalanche starting, and this whole place got completely covered by an avalanche. So you couldn't go back here. And then Robin's sister Sam, who was up on the, the actual space station up there belonging to Altera, she started sending these things down to help you. I must admit I did I did like that plot uh, more than I'm liking this one. This one just it's just weird. It's not survival-esque which is what Subnautica was and I would have thought would be. Still you know if even if this is Subnautica below zero it's it's a different environment and what have you but I would have thought the premise is the same. Yeah, you came bounding over there. This this ice sheet broke, and then you had to swim to, out to uh, to the main area to to then actually start the game or whatever. Oh, that's a bit weird. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bit of a bit more of a poke around here and see if I can find anything. Otherwise, I think I'm going to go and search that Leviathan again. Hmm. Hello. Outpost Zero is where your sister worked her final days on 4546B. That's what it looks like. It is quite isolated. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. Outpost Zero sounds like a prison. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. Not Sam. She was always ready to work, always looking to make things better. You feel all Terra tried to prevent this? They cut her down when she was just getting started. She must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. Alright, well that just popped up as soon as I came close to the sea truck, because I only just came back here to empty my pocket so I can go back and get more things, actually. I'm, I'm carrying too much and there's a few bits and pieces, but yeah, that was definitely interesting. Well, the only thing I've found next to the Leviathan is, it looks like a little robot, and it's asking for a sample. Uh, it got me thinking a bit, because... If we go back to Sam's notes, she's got like a diagram here. Now we're over here. And there's this little picture, you've got a pingling here and it's it's got a circle around it. Now, 
I thought that was just some dangerous area or something. I wasn't quite sure what it was, to be honest. But now it kind of makes sense. <laughs> um, basically, what you're going to need is your little spy pangling plus its remote control. You're going to need some flares. So, starting out from this this area here, which is where the cave is, the cave entrance to the, the fight. And we're going to head down here. Because there's, there's actually something else we can pick up along the way. Right over there, there's another sort of like little area there. And it's it, there's actually a, a jump module for, the, for your snow fox if you want one. So I'm just going to head over there because I'm just going to make a quick check and see if there's any more of these uh, flares. Because one thing I've found is somewhere out there there's a PDA and it actually tells you that These snow stalkers are actually afraid of flares, so it's in your interest to have flares. It actually tells you all personnel are supposed to carry one. Uh, right, there's the jump module there. Let's pick blueprint that up while I'm on it. How much room have we got? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay, well that's all right because we're heading for a cave. So coming down from there. We need to look for a cave entrance. Because we need to get over to that other area. So it's not there. I think it's here. Yeah, this is where we want to be. It's kind of like it transitions over to the to the other area. Right. Literally right across there is where we want to be. The trouble is, the areas... I think it was... Uh, the PDA was just warning of dangerous weather. So it could be a bit risky. I'll give it a try anyway, but... Right, so these snow stalkers, they're afraid of flares. They won't come anywhere near us without when we've got a flare. So it does chase them away. So, see, it does run away. So, I'm just going to go over to here, because this is where we want this thing. So, I'm just going to drop this flare here. So, it's going to drop one over there. I'm going to get a little pingling out. I'm just mindful of the weather. It's been very fussy about where it's going to let us go. So, I'm just going to dash over here. Right, we'll get that. I'm going to head over to here. Agent online. Okie dokie. So I'm going to send this into this cave here. Because you can see there's a container over there. So just got to be a bit careful along this little bridgeway. And there we go. Sam must have stashed this here. So that's the. I was going to use this antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacterium. So that's the antidote that we need. Agent offline. Right. So there's a little pengling. So what we can do is, we can pick up the antidote from it. There we go. So I'm just going to grab my yeah. Uh, my flare. I wanted that. I didn't want that. I wanted the flare. Yeah, I wasn't overly impressed. I didn't really think there was much use for these flares until I found that PDA. I don't know where I've seen it, but it's somewhere. It's out there somewhere. So we basically just need to, need to keep heading and back in this direction. And this will get us, we can transition back to that area where, you know, you've got these big plants out here. And it gets us back over to the, the cave entrance. Ooh, strength, it's the first time I've noticed a snow stalker over here. I mean, I must admit, those things, they don't one hit you. So they're not that bad. Right, just put 
that away. And then what we can do is we can go and have a a bit of a look in that cave and see what happens with this sample. Because I mean, I went in there. I mean, I've, I've been scratching my head to be honest. I've been trying to think. I mean, some, according to the the select like the little uh, investigation that's been going on. I mean, Sam was killed in here in a su supposed accident. But it's like, well, hang on a minute. I mean, what? why was her necklace on a table, for instance? It just didn't... Why would you take it off? I mean, if she came here to actually... Because she wouldn't have come here to just destroy the actual cave entrance. Because, you know, they're, they're going to dig it back out anyway. She came here with the intention of destroying this virus. So she hid the virus over there. And it left me scratching my head and what why was she over here? It makes me wonder if if somebody found out about her and staged the accident. It's very suspicious to me. Right, we're gonna head up there, because that's where we need to be. Because there's a little robot and it looks as though it's got a needle. And what it asks, it, it's got like a little, as you go up to it, it says insert sample. That looks very like, very much like the, um, the antidote you get from the sea emperor, I must admit. Ah, right, there you go. Alright, so it's injecting the actual uh, pustule over there. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, all the pustules are disappearing. I believe the antibacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. Architects find contentment in all moments in time simultaneously. What you experience sounds more fulfilling than contentment. Fulfilling is a great word for it, Alan. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Yeah, the plot's a bit thin there for me, because, I mean, as I say, we kind of stumbled on that spear zero. I mean, there wasn't so like a lead to get us there. And that's when we found out about, you know, this is, oh yeah, I've, I've got this, um, this plant, uh, um, using a, an antibacterial reagent that she's created to basically destroy the bacteria so she wasn't actually planning to do some sort of job of you know just caving the place she was actually going to cure the virus and i do wonder if, i mean it's it still doesn't make sense you see it's the it's that bit of the pot it doesn't what, what doesn't make sense is things like well why is a necklace over there i mean that it's not as if like somebody like took it off her. Why would some why would somebody take it off her? I mean, you know, like if, if somebody was gonna steal it from her, they would have just stole it. <laughs> Instead it was found lying over there. And even the investigator couldn't figure that bit out. It was just left lying over here. I mean we've got a scanner over here that's lying empty. Yeah, uh, I mean it's not it's supposedly the story's like finished per se, but mm. Yeah, it's, it still needs a lot of work by the looks of it. Because things are starting to piece together. 
I mean, I say you, you look at that diagram, and that kind of makes sense. Ah, right, I get it. She hid the, she hid it over there. I can't find it somewhere in here. There's a, there was a, there was a mention that she made saying that she hid it near the Leviathan, and she actually hid this um, the cure out here. And you needed this, you needed a spy penguin to go into that cave. So that, uh, it's just bizarre. <laughs> it's just definitely bizarre. But we're still no further forward in terms of this. We need to find that third component. And I'm pretty sure I know where to go, and I think I'll just head in that direction, to be honest. But that's for another episode. Well, thanks for making it to the end of this episode. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If so, then do please leave a like, as it will encourage YouTube's algorithms to suggest the video to others who might like it as well. If you have any tips or tricks for Subnautica, then please leave them in a comment below, as it would benefit anyone watching this video. Though I do appreciate any feedback at all, even if it's just to say hello. If you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing. It's free. Just remember to click the little bell icon, though, as then you should get reminders when new content goes out. And if you'd like to support the channel, then consider becoming a Patreon. Alternatively, there's the option to make a one-off contribution through PayPal. I've left links for both options in the description below. But above all, I hope you like watching these videos as much as I enjoy playing Subnautica. Bye!